Tucked away and hiding in a forest is a unique private airport. Located in Geneva, Florida, the Sutherland Strip is one of those places you only hear stories about. The runway is around 2,000 feet long, depending on which direction you're taking off from. And when I first saw it, I couldn't believe they could fly a Piper Cherokee into and out of this strip. If you're going to take off towards the east, you're going to have to get some people to stop traffic because the runway crosses a road. So first you'll see where we stayed overnight. It was a really cool little Airbnb built into the side of a hangar. And then we'll meet one of the neighbors who took Carolyn and I for a ride in the coolest flying machine I've ever been on. So thanks so much for watching. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. All right, so this is our man cave and woman cave. Come on, Phineas. Oh my gosh. Known as a man cave, this Airbnb was full of aviation memorabilia. Every wall had something worth looking at, from checklists for a fighter jet to autographs by astronauts. The ceilings were covered in RC planes, and I was taking notes so that hopefully one day I'll have a place like this. I wish I had gotten more footage of this room, but hey, I was on vacation. And besides, Carolyn and I were going to wake up early to find something neither of us had ever flown in. We were going to be given a ride in a gyroplane. Okay, it's nice and early in the morning. And Carolyn and I are going to fly in something really, really cool today. We're gonna go meet the gentleman now and you'll see what we're doing. thing it's just a, a thing <laughs> you know it's a different experience being up there looking down between your feet and seeing the ground so mm -hmm. meet Joe Joe's a great example of what makes a world of aviation so welcoming he happily shared his passion with us and explained the details about his beautiful aviomania GS2 so thanks again Joe and now I'll let you get back to the pre-flight briefing the physics say that as the retreating blade is going, it has less lift because we're going forward in space. Mm -hmm. you, you feel that. Your foot will be here. Okay. You'll use that as a step to get on. There's one of these on the other side for your other foot. Okay. It's, it's connected to mine, so when I try to deflect the rudder, you would stop me. So right. your foot wants to be back here. Mm -hmm. I take my stick out when I have most passengers, but I figured I would let you uh, get a little stick time when we were going. Great, thank you. So there's a handle right here. And it's probably a good place to put your hands when you're starting. After a while, you may not want to hold on to anything. You can also hold on to the side of the seat if that makes you comfortable. I think you asked me about the pre-rotator. Pre-rotator pushes this down like that. Now, I think I got it really nice now. Oh, and did I mention, it's got the same engine as a Honda Fit. Joe, as I edit this video, I'm literally drooling over this gyro. How to use the radio? Simple button. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow. Clear prop. Sutherland traffic, red rotorcraft, spooling rotors at the far east end of 29 Sutherland traffic.
goodness.
we got uh, Avco racing shocks on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was, that was amazing. Woo! Oh, that was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. That was really crazy. <laughs> Everything you saw and more? Oh yeah. <laughs> and then horse or bicycle. All right, so I just got done with my first ever gyrocopter ride or gyroplane ride, and that was crazy. It was awesome. Oh, makes me want one. So now Carolyn's back there getting uh, suited up and strapped into the gyroplane, and I am on the runway. I'm gonna go scare some turkeys. Get out the way. Let's go. Come on. Out of the runway. crazy machine. I'm so glad Carolyn got to experience it or is getting to experience it. But man, it's awesome. And I think Dan, the owner of the Airbnb in the Inn, is coming in in his Piper Cub. to Joe for giving us our first ever gyroplane ride and showing us such hospitality. It was a flight I know I'll never forget and I'm sure I'll have a gyro next to my airplane one day. Also thank you to Dan and everyone we met at Danville and the Sutherland Strip. Also thank you to the viewer for watching and if you haven't make sure to subscribe to my channel for more aviation content as I journey through the world of flight. Blue skies and safe flying.